One year ago today, I drove the same road on my way to Coyote Gulch. This was my first wilderness backpacking trip with large format equipment. Though I ended up with a very good photo, the trip still felt like a failure and has haunted me ever since. Several months ago, I began training for my return trip to Coyote Gulch. I've gone on many test hikes with a fully loaded pack to help condition my legs and reassure myself that the weight is manageable. Three weeks ago, I tweaked something in my left hip during one of my test hikes. The injury made hiking uncomfortable and placed doubt on my return trip to Coyote Gulch. Around the same time, my forerunner developed a significant issue with the engine, and now rain is in the forecast for the next few days. I think this is the world's way of telling me not to go to Coyote Gulch this year. Instead, I'm heading straight to Zion, one week ahead of my campground reservations. This is my fifth consecutive visit to Zion for fall color. I'm very familiar with this park, and returning to it each year is like visiting an old friend. Getting there early will allow me to see the canyon well ahead of fall color, and also give me time to scout an elusive maple shot I've had my mind set on for the past several years. There's something almost magical about wandering through a pristine maple grove in the peak of fall color. It's difficult to put into words, but I'm very excited to have an opportunity to shoot the maples again this year. It's an eight hour drive from San Diego to Zion. Typically, the drive goes by very fast, but this year, it seemed to take forever. I've got my campsite set up here, and uh, one thing became very apparent when I drove into Zion this morning, and that's the fact that fall color seems to be about a week early, and that's not really what I was hoping for. Usually I drive in, um, as heading in towards Springdale, a lot of the trees are very green with just a little bit of yellow, but as I get closer and closer to Springdale, now that I'm in the park, a lot of the trees are very yellow, and many have already lost a lot of their leaves. So I think one thing's very clear on this trip, I got a very short fuse I'm working with for the fall color. I'm gonna have to act fast, come up with a plan. So I'm gonna go out into the uh, canyon later this evening and see if I can maybe find some sort of shots I've been working on in the past few years and see if I can find anything that works because I gotta get busy and start shooting. These leaves aren't gonna last long. I've scattered around for several hours now, and uh, I've come to the conclusion that the rest of the canyon is very much like the campground area, where it all seems to be about one week early. Um, so that, this is really gonna change things up here as far as what I'm gonna have the ability to shoot because many shots I was hoping for were dependent on the fall color. It's really weird because there are some trees that are past prime, I mean, well past prime. There's others that have you know, a lot of green leaves on them and they haven't even started yet. Um, but it's really, really spotty and really strange. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm going to have to concentrate on smaller things. I'm gonna have to look for smaller detail shots, textures. Right now I'm standing along the bank of the river and there's all these great rocks that are strewn about on this big kind of a rocky sandbar. Um, and this in interesting light does look quite interesting. Um, there's also some cottonwoods that have fallen over upstream and they have these ghostly bleached skeletons of trees that could also be very interesting when surrounded by grasses. Um, other thing, uh, there's rain coming uh, tomorrow and in the next two days we're expected to have some rain. Probably not going to be heavy but it's going to have an impact. So this is really what I wasn't hoping for um, in context of Zion but it's something I'm gonna have to learn to, to work with, and it's a challenge. And it's 
it's going to be a big challenge.